What is up my bamboo shoots, Rampano one here and welcome to today's Black Ops 2 video. Now today I'm bringing you this very, very special gameplay. It's, uh, this is insane. This, uh, this is probably the first of its type on Black Ops 2 and that is 100 plus gameplay. Now we've, we've probably all seen 100 plus gameplays already. I mean, I think there was one uploaded before the game even came out. But this is 100, 100 plus, 102 to be more precise and zero, zero deaths, 102 kills zero death so I had to so I had to spoil the score for you but um, that's what's slowing people to this video I mean fucking 100 kills is insane I mean people were on Mono Fair 3 on the final few on the final month or so and they were saying uh, my goal is to get this 100 plus kill gameplay with zero death that's my that's my absolute goal I've, I haven't been able to achieve it yet and that's what um, that's what was, that's just what I want to get that's been working so hard to get it and that's what I want to get and they weren't able to do it and this beast of a player my friend Jack as you've seen some of his mods before was able to get this gameplay day one day two day one sorry fucking um, in the first few hours of the game being out because he got it midnight and the first few hours of the game being out here he got this hundred plus and zero death gameplay and it's insane you're gonna see an example of some of the kill streaks I've been uploading over the yesterday. I think I did. Yes, I uploaded a shitload of uh, a bunch of videos just showing off different kill streaks, uh, showing off a few guns. I'm gonna do a few more of those, but um, the kill streaks that he used are insane. People have been saying, "Oh, this uh, this swarm, this hunter killer drone swarm is insane. It's the best kill streak in the game." It's not. I've used I've used all the kill streaks. I've got all the I've. Use all the kill streaks on things like uh, league play, private oh, match, uh, combat training, stuff like that. I've used them all, and I can tell you now that the swarm is not the best kill streak in the game. And I wouldn't, uh, I probably wouldn't rank it in the top three either. The load star by far is the best kill streak in the game. The load star is like the rebuff on Modern Warfare 3 on steroids. That's how good it is. I mean, the fire rate on it is much, much faster. Also, the missiles go from from the load start and hit the ground much faster than the Reaper did. And the blast radius on it is much bigger. Like, Modern Warfare 3, they had all this spawn detection bullshit, and you, you'd be lucky to be able to get uh, one kill with a, a Reaper missile. But the load star, you just, you'll see it in this gameplay here. He just shoots it down to the ground. They just got it now. Shoots down to the ground again, four, five. Wiping out the entire enemy team with just one missile. The other kill streak he's using is the the lightning strike, I believe, and uh, this is like the 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 mortars team from Black Ops One. They kind of what I like about this game, they took all the the old stuff from uh, Black Ops One, which I think was like based 1980s, 1970s, something like that. And they basically upgraded everything and put it into this game. The RCXD returned, the Hellstorm missile, which is like a Predator missile, returned and is much, much po more powerful. The Mortar team has been transformed into the Lightning Strike, and that is much more, more powerful. It swoops across these airstrikes, get a bunch of kills. I always end up picking a kill up with the uh, Lightning Strike. Usually, you end it, you end up picking up uh, three to four kills with a Lightning Strike. Sometimes even more, especially in objective game modes. It's a very objective-driven game. And uh, while playing objective, which I do, I'm very objective-based player. You get a Lightning Strike and then dropping it on an objective just just wipes it out and gets a shitload of kills. And his other kill streak, which you can see here, is the VTOL Warship. This is sort of like a cross. Uh, Actually, this is like the warship, or is it the the chopper gunner, the gunship, or whatever it was called from Modern Warfare 2, where you can uh, you can free pilot it, you can fly it around to the area you want it in, and then just mow down on your opponents. Look at them; they just spawn in here, and uh, this is this is what I like about this game: the kill streaks. He's He's worked hard to get these kill streaks. He played very defensively. He's uh, not playing the objective, so it could handicap his team in a way. Playing very defensively to get these kill streaks. He's been able to get them, and he gets rewarded for them. He just mows down the team. There you go. He's 45 and 0 already. He's mowing down the team with those kill streaks. And uh, I said earlier that I wouldn't rank the swarm in the top three. And uh, some of the other ones that I would rank in the top three is Orbital VSAT. For those of you who don't know, that's uh, the new Blackbird that just lets you. For those of you who don't remember the Blackbird, uh, your opponents would come up as big, huge red hours on the mini map, and you could see the direction they were going and everything. It was very hard to counter. 
well, not counter, because there wasn't anything to counter it. You could use a counter UAV, which was pretty much the only thing and the only thing in this game. But uh, Ghost would not help you in that situation, and Ghost does not help you in this situation in this game. So it's very hard to uh, maneuver around. I guess you could like try and walk backwards to try and trick them. But once they got the orbital B set up, uh, you're normally playing against a very strong team in this game if they're going to get it, and you're pretty much just going to get killed even easier than you already have done before. Another beast kill streak that I like is the Warthog. It's um, it's this huge uh, cast I think it's called close air support, and basically it's a jet and it just swoops down under the oh just above the map, just above all the buildings and stuff, and drops like a bunch of uh, strafe runs, a load of missiles or bombs and stuff like that, and then it flies away. And if you look in the distance, you can see it turned around and it swoops down and does the same thing again. And then uh, I think it does it. I think it does it three times. I got uh, the one I got was right at the end of the game, and uh, so I, I, I didn't see how many times it actually came in. It only came in twice for me, but uh, it's, it's such a brilliant kill streak. So fun to look at, so fun to use, and uh, if you're able to get that, it's up uh, 1,400. I recommend putting that on and trying it out. The kill streaks in this game aren't as hard as like they made out to be, you know, because. Um, I'm easily getting things like well not not easily I can I'm able to get what is the 15 kill streak load star what was a 15 kill streak in Modern Warfare 3 a um an escort airdrop or whatever it was called the the remote chopper gunner which you could fly in and then drop an airdrop from it I believe a juggernaut was uh, 15 as well which is the equivalent to the load star but uh, things like that were easy. Uh, to me to get in Modern Warfare 2 uh, Modern Warfare 3 sorry after I played the game after I got used to the game after I would like pinpointed what I was good at what guns were good and stuff like that I'm still learning Black Ops 2 I'm still trying to get used to the guns trying to get used to this new hit detection and stuff like that and the load star was pretty pretty simple to get I didn't have struggle to get it at all it was a very very easy kill shoot to get and a very effective one of that so uh they're, they're hyping up that these things are going to be really hard to get. I mean, oh, if you want to get a load star domination, you're going to have to cap those flags. No, you don't. You can still sit back and get the kills. If you're people, I've seen, I've been defending the B flag on stuff like domination, and I've been getting load stars because of the the attacker bonus you get from defending the B flag. Also, hard point, you get a lot of extra bonuses from that. For like, for example, being the first there. Uh, killing people while you're there and stuff like that. You get a lot of bonuses for doing that. So that's why I'm getting a lot of my points towards my uh, score streaks. Sorry, not kill streaks in this game, because of just the just how much you get rewarded. I mean, I've got uh, there's this thing called there's a challenge for assist points, and uh, I haven't been playing this game much, but I've got like over ten thousand assist points already just from calling in things like UAV, counter UAV. That's a, that's a very good combo to run, to, especially if you're a team player, UAV and counter UAV. Uh, the counter UAV is the worst year it's ever been for me. Like, I could deal with it in past games easily. I could simply deal with it as it would just like uh, blur out your uh, blur out your mini-map with like black and white fuzzy lines. But in this game it's all blocky and all colourful and stuff like that and it's uh, it's not really my cup of tea, so if I'm able to get that counter UAV and use it against my opponent, that blocky, that ugly thing that I don't like, then that's what I like to do. Uh, that's what Those are the two kill streaks that I run when I'm being team player, that and uh, normally the hunter killer. I sometimes put the guardian on as, as it's only uh, 50 points away from the counter UAV. But uh, on stuff like hard point, I normally get the UAV and then literally the kill after, or two kills after, depending uh, how many points I gain from the UAV and while I'm on the objective and whatnot. I get the Hunter Killer drone and I get the Counter UAV at the same time. It's, uh, I really like that about this game. If you choose close kill streaks, like uh, another good example is the UAV, the RCXD car, and the, and the Hunter Killer drone. If you use all three of those kill streaks at the same time, uh, odds are you're gonna get them pretty much at the same time of each other just because of how close they are together. Another good example of that is the Hunter Killer, the Care Package and the Counter UAV. Just uh, really good to group those kill streaks up together and you pretty much just get them in one kill and then you can just uh, lay waste with whatever you've got.
and uh, some of the big examples of that then would be like the Lodestar, the Warship and the K9 unit. K9 unit is, uh, is very good in this game, Best, uh, the best dogs they've ever had right uh, first to Black Ops and then World at War of course where the dogs originated from. Oh, but this game, uh, this game is really fun. I some of my friends don't like it, some of them are really struggling to get used to this hit detection and don't like it, but uh, it, it was a toss up before whether this game would become my new favourite Call of Duty and I'll do a, I'll do a um, uh, another video about that soon, but I think this game is definitely one of the best Call of Duties and hopefully it gets patched, hopefully some of the things change and they fix some of the stuff because this easily this is easily has a um the contendership to be the best call of duty ever next to uh, some of the fan favorites like cod 4 uh mine personal be black ops 1 uh monofair 2 was another uh group of people's favorite game but uh, yeah this definitely is a contender but anyway guys, hopefully you enjoyed this fantastic gameplay, I know I did, it's great gameplay from my friend Jack, so thank you for him for letting me, allowing me to use it again. So if you enjoyed the, uh, the video, remember to leave a like, rate, and comment down below telling what you think of this game so far, and if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button above the video to keep up to date with all the fantastic Black Ops 2 videos that I am posting. Again guys, this is Rampana1, hopefully you enjoyed the video, and I'm out, peace.